everyone. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do what I was for Halloween last year, which was a victim of a drunk driving accident. Um, it was a really fun thing to do and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first you're going to want to start off with makeup on because if you're in an accident, you're going to have makeup on while, you know, while you're driving. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to take some eyeshadow or some uh, mascara that is not waterproof. That's very important that it's not waterproof. And you are just going to put a ton on. Even you can get some on. I thought my eyes, I thought my mascara was dried out. <laughs> um, you can put some on your skin underneath your eyes. Be careful because these brushes are kind of rough. Can do like this. Ooh. You want to make the appearance that you have been crying. Just smear some all over your eyes. I know that when I cry, my mascara gets everywhere. So, that's enough for right now. You can add some more later. Now, what I'm going to do is I am all about cheap stuff. I love getting good stuff for cheap. So I got this stuff right here, which is liquid latex, or not liquid. This is latex. I got this at one of those Halloween stores um, last year. I actually got two of them. I want to say that this was probably not more than $2. And so what I'm going to do with this is this, I'm just going to take, well, if I can get it out. I'm going to take some and it's very sticky and I'm just going to ball it up and I'm going to use this in quite a few different places. So the first place I'm going to put some is right where my hair parts or some, oop, don't want to get it in my hair, somewhere on my forehead and you're just going to put some on and start spreading it out with your fingers. You want to give the appearance that the skin is raised up. And I'm sure you can do this with um, a skin colored latex or something, but this is just what I happen to have. So, something of that nature. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, it's totally up to you. Then I'm going to take some... And I'm just going to place some right on my cheek and just set it down and then just start spreading it out with your fingers. I'm trying to work fast because I want to make sure that I have enough time to do this all. And then, I mean, and you can make cuts. These are going to be cuts. You can put these all over your face. For the sake of time, I'm just going to put a few and I'm gonna put one right on my lip. And I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. And you wanna make it look as real as possible. When I wore this last year, I won a Halloween contest. So, and I walked around the mall and people were like, oh my God. Okay, so that's the beginning for right now. Now, you're going to take some, some colors to make bruises. Purples, browns, yellows are what I use. A little bit of red. And I actually have a bruise that's going away on my arm right there. So I have some, something to go off of. If you don't have a bruise, look one up. Something. You want to have something that is pretty realistic looking to go off of. Also, I'm going to take a little bit of a red eyeshadow. I'm just using some Nixie eyeshadows. This one is Razzle Dazzle. I'm going to take some red and a little bit of brown. And you want your eyeshadows to be as matte as possible. Um, this one is, what is this? Coffee Bean. I'm going to take some Razzle Dazzle and some Coffee Bean together. And I'm just going to dab it on those cuts that I've made. And this... This stuff that you just put on your face is sticky, so your brushes are going to get dirty. Okay, 
that's good. Put some one here. And you're gonna wanna periodically wipe your brush off because once that sticky stuff gets on there, it's not coming off. Well, it is once you, if you wipe it off, you know. Okay. Okay. And some on your lip. You can also use your fingers too. Don't be afraid to get dirty with this. Get your fingers in it. Use some purple, some brown. Well, yeah, use some purple and some brown to start off with. I don't know the color of the purple that I'm using because it's new and it came in a palette, so just use whatever. You're gonna take this and you're gonna put it around your cuts. You want to get it predominantly purple. You can put some yellow on the outside, but usually bruises don't start turning yellow until they start healing. Like this bruise on my arm, it's 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 got a lot of yellow in it. I've had it for almost a week. So this one of my lip keeps coming off. And with your lip, you can come around in that area. Do some on your bottom lip. Just look busted up. You just got in a car accident. Okay. Now you can do some bruises here and there on your face. Like we'll do... I heard someone outside. And like I said, make it look as realistic as possible. You want it to look like you really just got in a car accident. Sorry, I dropped some of my shadow. So I'm going to take a little bit of yellow, just a tiny bit, and just come on the outside. You want it to be a realistic yellow. Don't get like, you know, bright ass yellow. And if you are using a bright yellow, use a tiny bit. You can use some green too. Green is a good, um, you know, a green or a good bruise color. So this is it for the most part. Something that I did in my pictures is I took packaging tape. I folded it up into little squares. I put them all in my hair. I put them in the cuts because this stuff is sticky. It'll stick right in there. And that makes it look like you have glass. Oh. Okay, so the next thing, get some more mascara. Okay, so get a bunch of mascara and just just rub it on your eyes. If you wear contacts, you're gonna have the next thing that I need for you to use. Saline solution. Get some of this, squirt it. Oop. Sorry. <laughs> squirt some of this on your eyes. Now, pat it in. Get your face, get your eyes wet. And squeeze your eye together. That will get your eyelashes all matted together and that should get some mascara on your face. And if you get it enough, it'll make a, you know, a, a tear line. I'm going to put just like a big glob of mascara right there. Put some saline on it. Okay, that's not working, but. So, 
Do it on the other eye. Remember, you just got in a car accident. You're going to be crying. 